Now, I want to remind you guys something. Sometimes the devil uses good things, even scripture, to trip us up. In the Bible, it tells about how the devil used scripture to tempt Jesus while he was in the desert. And he can use those same tactics against us. For example, he can come at you using the power of judo, which, which focuses on overpowering your enemy. Or he can come at you with jujitsu, which practices the art of using the opponent's strength against them. He sticks his foot out, and you fall under your own weight. Most of you know that my mom is French, making me half French. And when I go to Paris, you have to use the metro to pretty much get everywhere, unless you want to pay for a taxi, which costs a lot because they now use the euro, and the euro is better than us, our money. So, so anyways, we use the metro when we go down to Paris. And these metros are kind of old and dirty, and that's like the highlights of them. There's nothing good about them, except that. And so sometimes I'll get like a, a French newspaper that's lying around and I'll just sit on it because I don't want to have like markings on the back of my butt and that'd be kind of strange. So one day, I remember sitting on that paper and you know, going through Metro, we're going down to Paris, we're gonna go see the, the Champs-Elysees. And um, so I'm sitting, it's, it's, uh, it's the obelisk, right mom? No, it's, it's the road, it's the road that goes uh, you know the big arc in France, that big arc, the Arc de Triomphe? Well, that, the, there's a road that's called the Champs-Élysées that leads to that, and the, all the prominent like stores and restaurants are located there. So we're on our way there, and I'm sitting there, minding my own business, and this, this French guy asks me, Pardon-moi, monsieur, but are you reading that newspaper? <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, what is why would he ask a question like that? Does he think because I'm American that, that my eyes are located somewhere else on my body? You know? So I told my mom next time that happens, I'll say, Mais oui, monsieur, and I'll stand up, turn the page, and sit down. <laughs> I think that would be funny. I can't wait to do that next time. So you know, I mean, sometimes we don't understand what the devil is up to. There's a, there's a disconnect. Where he's thinking one thing and we're thinking something else. We think we're safe at the cross. While he thinks good, I'll get them so obsessed with their sin and their mistakes and they'll be useless. Now the cross, let me say again, is a wonderful. And you have to go there. But it's a trick of the Satan to try to keep you there. So that your whole life is consumed by your guilt, your sin, and failures. And you're camped or stuck on the cross, not being able to go out and take the world for Christ. Now when you go 